there are scrapes and scratches on this fan, unfortunately. But just because it has this from the manufacturer, listen carefully. That doesn't mean that it's a used fan and that it's all jacked up. No, it just means the manufacturer is sloppy and they didn't do their job on cleaning it up. Look closely, you see little scrapes and scuffs. Again, all that's from the manufacturer, unfortunately. All this stuff right here, the handle is dirty, has uh, cosmetic problems, which lead me to believe that this might have been used before they put it in the um, package. Maybe after they built this one, they might have run some tests and it just got really messed up in the actual manufacturer. It feels like the metal is a little bit bent right here. The same right here. There's some more. There's another scuff. And some more scratches. Whew, this thing really got it. But I'm happy that the blade is out is is, is balanced. Here we go right here. It's terribly bad. And the paint has gotten scratched off terribly bad right here. They didn't care to try to repaint that. They didn't care to try to get all the scuffs off. They didn't care to try to fix the little dents, the little lumps on it. But I've seen worse, especially on the cheaper fans, I've seen worse. So overall, comparing this to a cheap 3733 or any of the other cheap box fans, this is relatively a pretty darn decent box fan. And yes, it does come with the little hole right there for... The stand, which you typically don't see on any box fan these days anymore. But you did see that on the vintage ones of their day. Which I'm glad I finally got one. I've been trying to get one like this with these little holes for the longest. Not that I'm going to use a stand. but And this super thick cabinet, which is the vintage cabinet they had back in the days for even the heavy duty ones. And that was pretty much it. So the fan sits all the way in the back away from the cabinet doesn't have a silly little hole in the fan hub. And if you're just looking at it, you think, oh, well, it's just another Razor Shield. It's just another Premium or Power Plus. No, it's an Air King, and it is, I wouldn't say it's vintage, but it definitely does have the vintage style to it with the real thick cabinet and the little hole right there. And I will say, now, if it had the D-Blades, that would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, you know, these days they use the flower blades. All right, well, there's that. That's part two. I just wanted to show you that. But don't get on here on the comment box knocking that. I can live with all the little scuffs and things like that because I don't want to tamper with the paint. I don't want to make it no worse. So it's pretty powerful. I will say if you're the person that likes quiet fans, this is definitely not the fan for you because it's loud even on low. So other than that, it does move a lot of air and it's worth getting if you don't mind the noise. God bless you and go. Thanks for watching. This has been part two of the fan. The Air King 9723 box man.